I also I can't believe I'm gonna say this on the internet. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day, what is up? Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I got my skin from this to this. Honestly, I never thought I would be making this video. I truly accepted the fact that I would have acne for the rest of my life. And although like my skin is definitely not perfect, like I literally realized right before filming that I have a pimple like on my chin, which of course, but it's definitely not as bad as it used to be. But I did kind of like not necessarily give up, but just kind of be like eh, about the fact that I was gonna have acne like that. And it wasn't until literally this morning when I was looking through old photos and I was like, oh my gosh, my skin has gotten a lot better like wow and even back from january 2021 to now september 2021 my skin has changed drastically and i was like i need i need to share this because i have been actively doing things to get my skin to how it is right now and i figured it maybe could help some of you that are also kind of battling with acne and also to kind of comfort you in my own journey because it wasn't like oh i started doing all these things and then within a month my face completely cleared up no this has been years in the making which let's start from the beginning little baby Alexa. I always had really oily skin growing up. My mom has really oily skin and I never really had any issues with acne. The worst that I had it was my face was really, really red and I used to be called like strawberry face as a kid and that's like the only reason why I wore makeup and I wore a lot of makeup. Like during my scene kid phase, I just packed on so much makeup for literally just because I had a red face and I like slept in makeup. I skincare, who is she? I also, I can't believe I'm gonna say this on the internet. It pains me to say that I probably stopped using makeup wipes only like two years ago. And when I was in high school, I used to use makeup wipes in the shower. And after I would use a makeup wipe to take off my makeup, I would put it on the side of the shower and reuse it like the next day or like the next three days. And I had clear skin, like what the heck? Which I do have this photo when I was 17 where I actually do have acne. And I kind of didn't realize that I even had like any acne spots when I was a teenager because I just remember my skin never being kind of like an insecurity of mine, but I, apparently I did sometimes have breakouts, but nothing near what it ended up being once I turned the ripe age of 20 years old. And at this point, my oily, beautiful skin went away and I all of a sudden got super dry skin, which I already didn't take care of my skin. So then adding on with it being so dry, I feel like if you have dry skin, you have to take care of it even more so than somebody with oily skin. And so it was definitely new territory for me. And not only did I start getting dry skin, I started getting acne, mainly acne in my chin, which is where I still do get acne and then on my cheeks. So trying to find kind of this balance of like helping my acne without drying it out more was just a constant battle. And after a couple of years, I did end up going to a dermatologist and the only dermatologist that could take my insurance where I live. All of his patients were older, which is totally fine. Like I'm not trying to say like I need to go to some hip like person or anything, but literally every single patient there was probably over the age of 70. There was even this one lady that was screaming at the receptionist because they don't take checks anymore. And then once I met the doctor, it was a pretty quick appointment. He was like, eh, here's some pills to like help. And he didn't ask like, what am I using? What am I putting on my skin? What's my skin type? Like literally he just gave me some pills and was like, good luck. I ended up not taking them and just kind of like threw my hands up at that point. Also in 2016, I stopped eating meat and dairy. And I remember I watched so many like how I became vegan or like I'm vegan videos at that time. And so many people were like, my skin changed, like my skin became completely clear. All my acne is gone. And I was waiting. I was waiting for that to happen to me. Um, And it did not happen to me. I honestly feel like from 2017 all the way up into honestly like 2020, my acne, just honestly was a roller coaster. It would get really, really bad and then it would get like medium and then it would get really, really bad. Like it never just got like 
okay and I did even try Curology like a couple of times. I actually was supposed to do a sponsored video with them back in 2019 and I remember I did try it only for a month and it didn't do anything for my skin so I ended up turning down the sponsorship. Anytime I saw a video come up that was like how I cleared my skin and like the main factor was Curology, I felt really bad about myself because I was like, what the heck? It's literally working for everyone else. Their face got so much clearer in only like a month or two and mine like is just kind of staying the same. But in January, 2021, I would say like mid January, 2021, I decided to finally give Curology another shot because like I said, I had already tried them like a couple of times, but I really only tried it for like a month or two. And one thing I never really utilize with Curology is if it's not working for you, you can message them and tell them it's not working for you. I think maybe, I don't know, maybe they give you like a generic, to an extent generic like prescription of like what your concerns are. That's like the lowest dosage because they don't want to make your skin, you know, worse. But if it's not doing anything, maybe at that point, then they up it. So anyway, I started it by March, 2021. I really wasn't seeing a difference in my skin. I ended up messaging my like dermatologist on there. I was like, hey, it's not doing anything for me. And they ended up sending me a new prescription. And I can't tell you when I noticed that it made a difference because honestly, I don't remember. I truly didn't realize that my skin looks the way that it does compared to March 2021 until this morning when I was looking at photos. You can even see when I started Curology, I was dealing with a lot of acne scars, again, because I picked my face and I did make a pact with myself when I started Curology that I was not gonna pick up my skin. And so I haven't picked up my skin since January, 2021. And I feel like the same time that the prescription changed, I started just like paying more attention to the way that the things I put on my face reacted to my face. So kind of one example is perfume. There was a specific foundation I've literally been using for three to four years. I mean, I don't use it anymore. That is the Too Faced Juicy Watermelon Fresh Cucumber thing. It has the most intense fragrance and it actually wasn't until I watched like a skincare by Hiram video where he's talking about fragrance where most people like it doesn't bother them but if you do have sensitive skin it can bother it and I didn't even realize how much it actually was bothering my skin until a couple of months ago at first I was just focusing on the acne so as that was kind of helping and then some would pop in I was like okay is it the curology is it this and so I started doing like the process of elimination and I would say I don't think Curology is like a miracle product. I think it helps with combination with the other things that you're using, but also if it's not working, contacting the dermatologist and like trying another prescription to see if that helps. When it comes to your skin, like it is a lot of trial and error. Also staying consistent with the things that then worked, like I wouldn't change things out super fast. But let's talk about the products that I have been consistently using that have literally, I think again in combination, have been doing absolute wonders for my skin. I have dry, sensitive, acne prone skin, so all these products I think kind of reflect that. All of them are cruelty free minus two of them. Technically the brand still says they're cruelty free but like it's kind of a gray area so overall it's cruelty free but like those two products I'll, I'll talk about. The first thing that I use in the morning is a cleanser. Ah it's literally no why are you dripping oh well it's just not gonna be pretty. This cleanser I've actually been using like here and there the past I would say year but then consistently for the past nine months and it is the youth to the people kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser i love this thing so much as you can see like i'm literally almost out it doesn't strip my face which is super important as somebody with dry skin because you have like two sides of the spectrum you either have like way too stripping or you have on the other side where it's so hydrating that it feels like you didn't even wash your face. So I feel like this one's right in the middle. I have heard that if you have sensitive skin, you shouldn't use it in morning and night. So I may look into using a, another cleanser for either morning or night. I'm not too sure, but I use I do use it twice a day. Then I use this Ordinary Moisturizing Hydrating Moist moisturizer. I don't know why I'm saying this so weird. And I actually recently started using this and I wouldn't say it's like the most hydrating, but because I then follow up with a sunscreen, I found if my moisturizer in the morning was too moisturizing and then I put on a moisturizing sunscreen and then my foundation is also moisturizing. My face then was like 
not oily, but it just didn't feel good. So I found using kind of like a basic moisturizer is kind of perfect, especially with then pairing it with the Biosan Squalene Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. I am again very embarrassed to also admit that I didn't start wearing face sunscreen like consistently probably until the past five months. A year ago I started like getting into face sunscreen but not fully because I just felt like I never found a really good one that like worked with my makeup and my moisturizer and actually finding this one has been amazing. I was using a gel one that was really, really good, but I did find out that it's not reef safe and that is something that I kind of want to be aware of. So this one is reef safe, it's cruelty free and honestly, I just really, really love it. So then for nighttime, I use the Biosance cleansing oil. It is so just like it's good. Yeah, that's all I can really say. It takes off my makeup so well again as an avid like obsessed makeup wipe person. It took a lot to finally found a cleansing oil that would take off all my makeup and not make me want to reach for a makeup wipe. Then after I use the cleansing oil, I then use the cleanser. And then once my face is clean and dry, I go in with my Curology prescription. And I like to wait like a good, I would say like three minutes, sometimes five minutes to really let it soak in. The next two steps are kind of something I've been recently getting into. I would say in the past like two and a half months. First, this retinal one that I just use on my forehead because it's specifically for reducing the signs of aging. And like I said, because I never wore face sunscreen, I definitely am seeing like premature like wrinkles and aging on my forehead. So I've been using this just on my forehead after I let that soak in. I've been using the literally cannot say it, but it's also by the Inky List and this one's for hyperpigmentation. From what I know, it's supposed to help with dark spots. And so I've been putting it on my acne scars, mainly on my cheeks and my chin. And I don't use those products like every single night. I'll use them like three to four nights out of the week. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling with my skin. But the next two products I also kind of interchange depending on when I'm not using those. And that are two different moisturizers. They're both from First Aid Beauty, which this is the brand that I was talking about that's kind of in the gray area when it comes to cruelty free. I feel like you kind of have to figure that out for yourself. Kind of the highlight of the entire brand that is something I don't know if I can kind of like let go of unless I'm able to find like a really good dupe is the ultra repair cream. At one point my chin would literally bleed from it being so dry and even my knuckles bleed in the winter. My knees bleed because my skin is just super super dry. I am really just kind of conflicted because it's the only product that I found that helps when my skin is so dry. I find especially at night this is amazing for my face because I just love waking up and feeling just like plump. But when I'm not using retinol, a lot of times I will then go in with the Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. This cream, I actually was pretty like blown away at how well it makes my face feel in the morning. I definitely see a noticeable difference when I wake up when I've used this at night. I feel like when you have acne, so many people want to tell you what you're doing wrong, whether it's not drinking enough water, not having the right diet, not getting enough sleep, being stressed, which I mean, I'm not going to discount any of those, but especially as somebody that doesn't eat meat, doesn't have dairy, drinks a lot of water, I don't drink alcohol. I literally eat so many vegetables. Like I love kale and I eat so much kale. It's not just diet and it's not just skincare. I feel like when it comes to like not having acne or like getting rid of acne or just like having skin that feels good, like it's a combination of everything. So I feel like I can't really give necessarily like tips for you because it's so personal to you and kind of your body. But I would definitely say number one, if you've been struggling for a while, go to a dermatologist, a good one. Also starting simple when it comes to skincare. I think when you especially are dealing with acne and everyone's telling you to try different things, you end up just buying a bunch of like different skincare products. You start using them like something different every single day and that's that's not good for your skin either. So if you're gonna try something, just like buy one new thing and implement it into your skincare and then go from there. And you can do like a process of elimination, swap things out, but don't do it all at once. Unless like all your skincare products are like really, really bad and damaging your skin, then do that. Also don't pick your skin. 
don't do it. Something I definitely recommend are the like pimple like stickers. I feel like they helped me so much not pick at certain like really really big pimples. I didn't use them super often. I just used the ones they like came free with my Curology order. Honestly what helped me the most was like accepting myself having acne because then I wasn't just so overly consumed by it and I know everyone's super different and everyone's acne is super different obviously somebody that has cystic acne that it's literally super painful that's a completely different thing that I personally haven't really gone through so I can't be like oh just pretend it's not there and live your life like no like shut up you know but I think when it comes to like the beauty level of like how you see yourself being okay with it will I feel like help you feel better. I don't think it'll necessarily be like, oh, I'm confident with my acne, so then my acne goes away. Like, that's not what I'm saying. But if I still had acne, I would just be living my life like normal. I just think not looking at it as something that needs to go away today helped me just kind of like go through this process. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are struggling with acne, it's okay. You are beautiful with or without it. And hopefully this video just showed you it's a journey. Also, if you guys have any like product recommendations of something that did help you, especially if you have oily skin or combination skin or dry skin, leave them in the comments down below because whatever works for me may not work for you. So kind of getting an idea of what works for different people could possibly help you. If you guys would like to continue to see my face, then you can hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. If you would like to stay up to date with me during the week, you can follow me on Instagram, which is alexandshine 83 I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a super sunny day. Enjoy life, be happy, and I'll have you lots. Bye!